Welcome to this version 6.1 overview. Highlights in this release include the ability to define hyperlinks in the Dashboard Designer web UI and various other dashboard improvements for parameters and hyperlinks created in Jaspersoft Studio authored reports. Server and tenant level attributes let administrators parameterize data sources and domains to make it easier to manage objects across multiple server environments and across tenants. In a moment, we'll take a look at these capabilities. You'll also find other usability improvements across the product and support for other typical products through Jaspersoft Studio, such as geographic maps and updates to platform and big data certifications. Later in this video, we'll take a look at the all-new Jasper Mobile 2, which is a major new release supporting web-responsive dashboards, as well as interactive and hyperlinked reports with a native mobile app experience. First, let's take a look at dashboard chart hyperlinks, as shown by this sample dashboard. Hyperlinks can be defined on dashlets that either contain ad hoc views or created as part of the dashboard. You can see from the properties panel that this dashlet is sourced from an ad hoc view. The hyperlinks tab lets you enable hyperlink properties, where you can set actions to either update the dashboard or open a new web page. All fields that make up a data point on a chart are available as parameters, which can be passed to other dashlets or web pages. For example, the selected country can be passed as a parameter into another dashlet name, and can also be used to pass values into new pages, such as the selected state and product category. I can then go into preview mode to test the hyperlinks. When I click on a country bubble, say Mexico, you'll see that the product category dashlet is affected, where the dashlet title and chart data are updated. Clicking on a bar causes a new dashboard to open, where the product category and state are passed as parameters. This dashlet also contains a hyperlink, which causes a new web page to open. The selected state is dynamically passed as a parameter with the new web page. Let's go back to our original dashboard and see how hyperlink parameters can be mapped across dashlets. Filter Manager UI lets you map parameters that are set from any source dashlet to any number of other dashlets and parameters across the entire dashboard, giving the dashboard designer complete control over the user experience. Now let's take a look at server and tenant level attributes. Server level attributes can be defined through the Manage Server Settings UI. Server level attributes are used to parameterize strings across the entire Jasper Port server. Each attribute has permission properties that control visibility and access. Attributes can also be defined at the tenant level. Attributes can be inherited from the server level and created and managed down organizational hierarchies. For example, I can create an attribute specific to this tenant. The attributes can then be referenced in various parts of the Jasper Report Server web UI. For example, I can parameterize any of the properties of a data source. For more information on this and other new features, check out the Jaspersoft documentation. Now, let's take a look at the new Jasper Mobile 2.0 available on Google Play for Android devices and the Apple Store for iOS. With an entirely new UI, thumbnails are now available for browsing reports. And when opened, reports respond to the full screen size and orientation on the device being used. Reports are now also fully interactive, right from your phone or tablet, where you can order information, and search on special criteria, on demand, wherever you are. The new navigation panel allows you to quickly access your full repository, view favorites and saved items, and then sort and filter those reports and dashboards within your view. Jasper Report 6.0 Plus is now fully supported, including 6.0 dashboards where you can select and interact with individual dashlets within a fully responsive environment that stretches to fill the device size and orientation, allowing easy to navigate analytics on the go wherever you are.